first grade, week 10, soil. First grade teachers, I'm filming this in the outdoor classroom. Uh, you have a district track meet going on at your school, and I'm, I, it's too crowded to get in there to do this. So you're going to hear a little road noise, but we're still going to have the same setup at your picnic tables out by the red building. What I have is two water bottles that I will supply you with. One needs the label removed from it, and I put my name on the top of the lid. I'm CC. Because you're going to make a soil profile that the kids can take back to their classroom and make some observations on. The other bottle is merely a water bottle that I filled from the tap. It's not a new water bottle with new water in it because they're going to mix this up with their soil. I, I'm going to move back and forth between here and the background here. I went out and gathered a bag of soil from different locations. It's real important that you go to a place that has loamy soil, which is a mix of sand and organic matter, that you find some red clay, and that you find some sand. And I'll go out and mark the spots around your campus where you can find these. And I wouldn't use this big bag. I would give the students a small bag because that's pretty heavy. When they collect their sample, they're going to come back to the picnic area. And there's several tools that we're going to use. We're going to have funnel when they get ready to pour it in their bottle. But the first thing they're going to do is called sieving their dirt or their soil. This is just a little box that I had that we're going to sift through. And that sieving is the same thing as sifting. Is when they make their soil profile in their bottle, you don't really want them to get all the weeds and roots in. One of the teaks says, make sure that they know that there are different sizes of particles of soil. And this is just a real good way for them to see that sometimes there's just a lot of rocks in there and not their soil. Now this clay is in big clumps. So what I'm doing is just taking my hands moving it back and forth just like flour and what they'll be left with is some big clumps and they can see that that soil comes in different particle sizes and that's a word you need to start using with them is particle size because there's no other way to describe these particles other than the size so I'm just going to shake it and I'm going to demonstrate some different sieves for you I don't know how long these little ones here are going to last and of course, they're much finer than the holes that were on this one. But that's okay. They can just play around and sift through that. I also have some screen wire that we can use so that they can get their particles separated. I could sift this back. So what I have here... And we're going to do this on the table. I do have tablecloths we can use and shake off and then fold up and put up. So I'll provide you with those. Now we have a mixture of soil. I've got sand, I've got red clay, and I've got some organic matter in here. So I'm going to take my bottle with my name on it with no label. And I'm going to use my funnel and I'm just going to put that dirt in here. And for those little hands, it's going to take some patience to get that dirt down in there. Now, they don't have to fill this whole thing up. If they want to, they can just pour it into their bottle. In fact, I'm thinking now that's easier for them. We'll have some boxes and tubs out there so they, can, they don't lose all their sifted soil. But you want them to fill their bottle about halfway full of their sifted dirt. They're still going to have some little rocks in there, which is good because they will separate out. I'm about half full now, and I'm going to take my tap water, and I'm going to fill up this bottle. And you're probably cringing at the fact that you're going to have these dirty little things in your classroom, but you're going to be pretty amazed at how excited the kids are when you shake all that up 
and you make muddy water and they let it sit and in about 24 hours they're going to have some settled out different colors and I've sent you a worksheet that they can put in their journals and they can draw that how much of they get of the colors and the divisions and then they can color it that color so that's what we're going to do next week